here in uh, Eglinton West, Eglinton and Oakwood. As you know, there's been an announcement by the provincial government uh, through his agency Metrolinx that's building the Crosstown that the uh, project is going to be delayed another two years. End of 2022. The third delay was like 2020, 2021. Um, so we've really reached a breaking point here on Eglinton uh, West that uh, we have over a hundred shops, small businesses that are closed now. And we're worried that without compensation for these small businesses that remain, we're going to lose all of them. So uh, on behalf of the small business owners uh, on Eglinton here, uh, from uh, Kiel all the way to Young Street and beyond, we're asking for the provincial government to compensate the owners that are still trying to stay in business financially so they can pay the rent pay their bills and uh, keep people employed in their stores so we're fighting to uh, essentially save uh, Eglinton because we've already been in uh, nine years of construction hell now the province is saying well you're going to have to put up with another two years at least maybe three years of more construction hell they can't make it without the province compensating these businesses so they can really keep their doors open and feed their families. Now I'm here on the north side of Eglinton, uh, just uh, west of Oakland. You can see these barriers that have uh, been put up uh, for the last year in front of all these small stores. They can't be seen. Uh, it's almost impossible to find the walkway. So you can see how it is impossible to attract any customers. Never mind uh, park, they can't walk uh, to get to their stores. So this has been up for again over the last year, year and a half. You can see the, the problems here and uh, the impossible task a small business has. We're here at the uh, northwest uh, corner of Dufferin in Eglinton. You can see the construction going on here, the uh, big machinery that's here. Uh, access again is very difficult, very tricky. It's hard to operate anything, with people walking by. So we're here at uh, Dufferneg, you can see the challenges that everybody faces here. I'm on the south side of Eglinton, uh, east of uh, Dufferin. This used to be a McDonald's, so even the McDonald's closed down, which is quite rare for McDonald's. You can imagine the little mom and pop shops that closed, but even the mega McDonald's couldn't uh, make a go of it here on Dufferin because of the construction of the Crosstown. And across the street, we even have the uh, McDougal and Brown funeral home that closed down. It's been there for maybe 100 years, couldn't take it either. So whether it's a funeral home or whether it's McDonald's, it's very difficult to sustain anything. And that's why we need help to make these small businesses uh, keep alive through this construction, which is going to be delayed for another three years.